Hello and welcome to this training class from Core Fun Inc. on how to use the SH447 component for the Joomla content management system to manage a URL. Joomla, like all content management systems, in its native state generates URLs that look like this. Those URLs are not readable either by people or by, con or by search engines such as Google or Bing or Yahoo. To make the situation better, what we do is we use a search engine friendly URL component. The one that CoreFun prefers is called sh 44 ceph and what the sh 44 ceph does is it takes those unreadable URLs and it actually converts them into plain English or plain any language really and then that allows Google Bing and the other search engines as well as people simply reading the URL to be able to understand it and properly index it. So let's take a look at how that same page was generated in terms of a URL by sh 44 ceph greenfieldnaturals.com slash blog slash view by tag 36. sh 44 ceph when set up and, cre and instantiated and by CoreFun goes ahead and creates search engine friendly URLs for each page on the site. Often those search engine friendly URLs are fine the way they are. However, there are times when they can be improved and really should be improved. What we're going to look at now is a situation in which we have a URL and we would like to make it better. So what I'm going to do first is actually copy everything to the right of the dot com slash. In this case I'll be copying blog slash view by tag 36. The reason I'm copying that is so that when I go to the sh 447 component I can filter and find that search engine friendly URL so that I can edit it. I'm now going to go to the administration portion of the Joomla website. I'm going to mouse over components I'm going to go to sh 404 ceph When I click, I'm going to get the sh 404 ceph control panel. And what I'm looking for is view edit ceph URLs. So I will then click on that option, view edit ceph URLs, and I can then load a complete list of all the search engine friendly URLs for this website. And here we have a list of all of our search engine friendly URLs. I could actually scroll down and find all of the search engine friendly URLs that are in this website. But what I can do is come over here to the filter and I can paste in that portion of the URL that I copied. That is the search engine friendly portion of it. If I do hit enter here, then I will bring up the Ceph URL that I'm looking for. This is the non search engine friendly original URL generated by Joomla and this is the Ceph URL. What I can do is click on it to open it for editing and then simply come in here and I can type in whatever it is I would like my new URL to be. So in this case what I'm going to make it is actually fill it in for me. It's active-mineral-water. Google interprets dashes as spaces, so active-mineral-water is going to be read by Google as active mineral water as three separate words. So what we're going to do then is we are going to simply uh, go ahead and continue uh, this process by saving that URL. Okay, Then I can come back over here and let's refresh this page by clicking on that link again. And what we'll notice this time is that it loads the correct link that I just created, active-mineral-water. In the back end, under the view Ceph URLs, that URL is no longer visible. And it's no longer visible because the filter itself is causing it not to display because it no longer has those keywords. But also, the view mode was show Ceph URLs, and that is now a custom redirect. So here is my Ceph URL, the original URL, and it's now under view mode, show custom redirects.
So let's look at how we would do that again for this time the blog called Natural Phenomena. You click on Natural Phenomena. We'll notice that that is Blogs View by Tag 37. I'm going to copy that. Then go back into the back end and change my view mode to show Ceph URLs. Paste in my filter. Hit enter. And there is my search engine friendly URL. I'm going to click on it to open it for editing. And then I am going to change it from what it is to blogs slash natural dash phenomena. Okay, if I come back over here now, click back on that link and refresh it, then I will notice that my URL is now blog slash natural phenomena. Okay, one other thing I would like to cover, let me go ahead and get rid of that filter, and then let's look at our custom redirects. Okay, for some people who, or some websites that may have been in production for a while, you may have the existing search engine friendly URLs indexed in Google and other search engines. When you do the method that I just showed of editing a URL, what the system will do is actually take the original URL and make it an alias. That way Google does not get a 404 when it comes to your website using an old URL. That alias will go ahead and deliver the user to that new Ceph URL. So we can have actually multiple aliases out here if we have changed URLs multiple times. So go ahead and with confidence tweak your URLs as necessary in order to improve your search engine optimization. This has been a class on how to use the SH 447 component for Joomla in order to customize a URL.